Personally, Fowler, congratulations. I know you're a bit distracted because you've got one eye on the Carabao Cup penalty shootout final here, of, of course. But let's just talk about the fight. Congratulations to you. You thought you'd be able to break Masiek down and stop him late. How do you uh, assess the fight and his it, toughness? It, it was frustrating. He, he went to a shelf to like round five. He, he just thought, fuck this. I'm, I'm trying to survive. And he made it tricky for me because he was constantly moving when I was tracking and he'd, he'd like throw a jab and he'd duck there low. And just he was like a little shell and he was sticking to my chest. So with me having long arms, it's hard to get them inside shots off. Like, I would have preferred to box him long at my range, but it would have been a snooze fest, so I had no choice but to like, try and put a bit of a show on. But very average performance, but I, I think it's a good fight to get 10 rounds in my belt. I haven't been 10 rounds for a long time, and um, I was full of beans, full of energy. Every time I caught him with half a shot, it was hurting him. I could feel it, but I couldn't find that one shot that I needed to get him out of there. Talking about being full of energy, moving up, of course, to middleweight on the back of the Liam Smith defeat, you were disappointed with how quickly you faded in that yeah, fight yeah, yeah. with Beefy. Did we see some of the benefits with you having that extra weight on tonight? I'd say tonight it was the opposite. Like I, I got stronger and that kid faded, so that's a positive. The energy was there, but I know in the gym I can do the rounds easy. It's about being a bit clever, and he, he was catching me with the odd little swing, which he shouldn't have been, but I was having to box a different fight that I wanted to because of his tactics were very messy. and. It's, uh, any boxer will tell you if someone's moving constantly and then ducking and diving and grabbing you, it's very hard to like look good. So um, there's some positives, but there's a lot of negatives as well. So it's, I'm learning on the job still, and I showed that I'm not, I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Masiek's best shot throughout the fight, probably that overhand right, yeah, which yeah. he threw with accuracy and quite yeah, viciously throughout yeah. the fight. He wasn't known as a, a big puncher coming into the fight, and you rode the shots well. How did you assess the ones that did land? Yeah, none of them like troubled me too much, but. I should have been defending him a bit better. I was getting caught over the left hand where he was dipping that low and winging it over. I was coming close to force the action, which is working into his hands. I wanted to make him come to me, but he wouldn't off. So if I would have boxed my fight, it would have been a terrible fight. Like it wasn't the best fight anyway, but if I would have stood off and boxed my game, it would have been a complete snooze fest. So I tried to put a bit of a show on, I tried to get him out of there and in doing so, I made a few silly mistakes, but it's all learned, isn't it? I'm still, I'm still learning, I've been pro what? four or five years ago, and I've had 18 fights and I need them fights to, to learn. You look like a different person at the weigh-in yesterday. Yeah. I just wonder how important do you think in the long run this decision will be for you to move back up to 160? Definitely, like I said, once someone comes to me and we start exchanging, I'll land them bigger shots and I'll air people. Obviously, I need to tighten myself against higher opposition, but I'm glad that I was full of beans type of thing where you see me against Smith or Fader, even against the fights like Slat Muller, I was... I was quite tired in there and a bit labour at times, where tonight I had a lot more in the tank, which is good. And outside the ring as well, dad duty, of course. I believe mm -hmm. you've moved your family down fr from Liverpool uh, closer to the gym. In terms of outside of, of boxing, is this the happiest you've been in, in a considerable yeah, amount of time? you know what? I said to me, um, my coach or my fr best friend before this fight, you don't realise you're unhappy until you're actually happy. And, and last year, I wasn't happy, mate. I was living by myself in some little shit old house. My son was at home. My girlfriend was constantly moaning to me because she's on her own with the baby doing the main things by herself, so I was getting grief off air, I was missing my son, I was starving myself to make the weight, and like, I was just telling myself, like, it's it's for your family, it's for your good, your son, and I was trying to know how long, but I wasn't really happy in my life, and driving four hours to the gym, and then I'm getting to the gym, fuck, I've had no sleep because of the baby, it was all a bit messy, where now I'm getting a lot more sleep because my baby's sleeping, and I'm not traveling that four hours here, four hours there, it kills you, making up in the morning after no sleeping, and driving four hours to the gym, I'm only human, mate. Some days I think, fucking hell, fuck this. I'm, I'm knackered, you know what I mean? I was trying to grind it out, but I just wasn't happy and killing that weight. You see in the way in the last fight, like, don't make, I'm not making no excuses. I, I show up in the night, I got beat. No one gives a fuck if you've got 10 kids or you're starving, you're losing a stone maybe before the weigh-in. But it does have a big impact on your performance. And moving forward, I'm going to be a lot better fighter at this weight. You moving up to middleweight is certainly exciting for the division uh, domestically. What is the focus for you, Anthony. Have you put, since you moved up to, to 160, more of a focus on perhaps winning some domestic titles? Is that yeah. further up your radar? Well, I feel as though like I got fast-tracked a bit in the last minute fight because no one would fight me domestically. So I got pushed into a world title, or world level fight, which I wasn't ready for as it's shown. So I'd like to take a step back and box someone for the British title, get 12 rounds in my bank against someone who's ambitious. That, that kid, he didn't want to know after a few rounds, he just thought, fuck this, and got through it where Someone like Denzel Bentley, or is it? I think it's Linus. He's fighting. Linus Stofia, correct? Yeah, yeah, I can't pronounce his name. Sorry. It, fighting the winner of them, they're both young, ambitious lads with ambitions of their own. It'll be a much more exciting fight, and I'll, I'll learn a lot more, and it'll be a lot more entertaining than that. 
What would you think to perhaps a, a big British showdown with Felix Cash at the end yeah, of the year? Yeah, that, that's, that's a brilliant fight as well. I, I know Felix in the GB days and he's a good lad and he's, he's improved a lot. I think me and him would be a proper explosive, horrible like war fight, which the, the fans will love. So that fight at the end of the year would be brilliant for me. Absolutely. And just finally, uh, your stable mate and good friend Lawrence Sicoli in action in tonight's main event. He's got the bit between his teeth to make a statement tonight. Yeah. Do you believe that's what we'll see? Yeah, you know what? Lawrence, mate, he's, he's special, mate. Like, he's, he knows it as well, which is a bit of a annoying because he fucking talks about himself <laughs> constantly. But he is a special fighter. He's got superb power in both hands and he's um, full of confidence. He's, his judgment of distance and his feet are great. I, I watch him in the gym and I try and lay off him. And um, I think tonight, I think he'll knock sees like out. We haven't seen, to be, to be fair, but... I just know Lawrence, is, he's a special fighter. Well, Anthony, I'll let you go. I think the penalty shootout's still going on, so I'll let you go and enjoy it. How's it getting on, do you know? What, what's the score in the shootout? 5-4 to Liverpool. 5-4 to Liverpool. Well, here we go. Oh, go See you later, lads. Here we go. Enjoy. <laughs>